Anderson Band and drill team march out in the field here at halftime. 21 to 15 is our score. Rockets in the lead. And we're joined now, Mike Side, by Judson Athletic Director Frank Arnold. Back behind the microphone, uh, just for just a minute anyway, huh? Hey, I'll tell you, it's easy down there <laughs> on the field. <laughs> I noticed you were standing down there all about the 20, 30 yard line and hands on your knees. Did you feel like you were back in the coaching game a little bit? No, I just try and stay out of the way, John. Let them uh, have at it. I just, I can't, uh, I get a little excited every once in a while. What did you think of the first half of play? Your team obviously came out and did what they had to do. They controlled the tempo of the ball game. They controlled the football. And uh, they, of course, got the one big play on the uh, kickoff return by Byron Saunders. I, I think we did for uh, a quarter and, and uh, almost nine-tenths of the second quarter of what we needed to do. But by not taking advantage of the break of the turnover that they gave us and not getting some on the board with that, and turn it back to them. We gave them an opportunity to get the big play, and of course that's the thing that these guys do so well. They can they can score and, and get the big play on you and move the ball down the field so easily, and uh, that allowed them to get back in the ball game, game quite frankly. And uh, I think we've got to continue to do what we did for a quarter and a half and control the ball on offense, get some points on the board, get some breaks, you know, like we did on the kicking game. You know, something I want to touch on that some of our viewers may or may not be aware of this afternoon is the fact that you have a tremendous amount of time with the Holmes program. You obviously were a coach there for a long while. Uh, you've got a lot of ties with Gary Molesky, who is the coach there. Uh, let's see, what else should we talk about? <laughs> tell us tell us about all of this ties between you and the, and the Holmes. Well, uh, you know, uh, I know Gary Molesky since uh, we, were, we were on Youth League Baseball together. We went to the Pony League World Series. Uh, you know, we're good friends, and I, I coached against him when he was at Kennedy, and I was at Holmes, and I don't think there's anybody that does a better job with the, with the passing game. Uh, Several of the coaches were there when I was there, and, and uh, was it D.W. Rutledge people. one of your coaches when D.W. Rutledge was there uh, for a year, and uh, of course uh, Holmes played Judson their first year in playoffs. Uh, I guess it was '77. So there's a lot of things. Plus, I've got a little woman over there that I think a lot of other coaches there, my wife, and, and uh, you know, I good friends over there. They're good people. Their communities is as similar to ours as any around. And, they do a good job in, in every area, and we have a lot of respect for them. And, and I don't, you know, it's not anything like. Uh, I, I was real pleased the way all the kids handled it this week in the press. And both ball clubs showed a lot of class and a lot of respect for each other, and that's the way it ought to be. Shouldn't we also say that Coach Molesky's son David was one of your star linebackers a few years ago? That's right. And his mom is still there, uh, working in the booster club, and a very, uh, real, real strong worker for us. Uh, they're good people, and uh, you know, it's a, it's a good group I think of both schools coaches kids uh, really uh, communities what about all of this uh, the hype going into a game such as this you know we touched on at the beginning of the broadcast uh, of course the uh, very famous Lee Bragg game back in 1963 which was 23 years ago to this day as we've talked about um, do you think this kind of game is, is one that has the potential to be remembered for 20 or 25 years, at least it started out that way? I think it sure could be. Anytime you get the explosiveness of a group of kids, uh, Holmes has tremendous athletes. You know, uh, McKenzie, they say 6'1", I think he's 6'5", because he looks <laughs> as tall as uh, those two cash boys. And, and uh, of course, Walker is just a great receiver. Odom, you know, they're not a, there's a great athlete in every position. So. They have a chance to go all the way every time they touch the ball. And when you have that type of offense, it's a fan's game, and it's exciting. Well, of course, the winner of this football game, and oh, since we still have a half to play, it's a little bit tough to start about thinking about next week. But the winner of this ball game will meet the winner of tonight's contest in San Marcos at Bobcat Stadium, where the Clark Cougars will play the Austin Reagan Raiders. Now, <laughs> that's a ball game that a lot of San Antonio fans, for obvious reasons, are interested in. It could most certainly set up a, a showdown between either Judson and Clark, who Judson has knocked out of the playoffs the previous three years preceding this, or, of course, Holmes and Clark. And Holmes was the one that was down by 16 points to the Cougars with seven minutes to play earlier this season and came back to win 31 to 30. Well, I, I think Clark has been overlooked, and they're gaining some advantage with all this attention in this ball game. They're a super ball club. For the first time, I think, since Clark's school, they have a balanced attack. Mark Maycheck doing a great job of throwing the ball. They've got some speed and Hooper and, and the other kids. Uh, they have, to this year, up to this year, been more of a rushing offense totally. They now have that uh, pass attack and it's a dominant pass attack so they've got a great balance and I think they uh, they've got a great ball club. Frank hasn't it been a good year for high school football in San Antonio when you say that is a tremendous understatement. Uh, exactly uh, when you take the uh, great ball club in the area and San Antonio 
Cole, uh, all of them. There's a lot of great football teams, and that's just good for the communities in, in and around San Antonio. Coach Arnold, we appreciate your visit. Best of luck to you and your team in the second half. Thanks, John. Thank you. Appreciate you being here. Frank Arnold, the athletic director for the Judson Independent School District, and his football team is on top of the scoreboard at halftime as we continue. 21-15 is our score. We'll be right back.